Hey guys, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. On our last episode, we met Karlak and helped her get her revenge against the fake paladins of Tyr who are out to hunt her. Will also told us his secret and grew some horns in the process. But today, we are going to raid a vault. We finally found the vault key for this toll booth. So we should be able to open it. There's a trap right there. I can literally see it. I didn't need to roll a perception check to notice that. <laughs> Let's disarm that right away. Oh, or not. Wow. Starting off the day with a failure. Womp womp. Oh, there's more traps. Okay, so this place is totally trapped. So let's try to uh, disarm some of the traps. I clearly couldn't disarm that one. We couldn't disarm this one either. Wow. <laughs> okay, everyone, just avoid the simple toxins uh, while I take a a moment to go through all these crates. I'm hoping there's going to be something good in here. The good thing about Gladys is she's so small. We can kind of just hop over him. What do we have there? A burrow hole. Oh, I guess there was another way in through here, perhaps. Here's a wooden chest. That's where the real loot is. 245 gold. Don't mind if I do. Rags? Well, we can do without those. All right, so we got our treasure here. I'll probably... Whoa, I'm glad I did. I was going to say, I'll probably take a moment and go through the rest of these crates, which I'm very glad that I did. And then after this, we actually need to go back to the Emerald Grove um, because Carlac is having some overheating issues. And we're going to see if the tiefling blacksmith who's currently in the Emerald Grove can help us out with that. Alrighty, so here we are at the Emerald Grove. As I mentioned before, Karlak apparently has an infernal engine instead of a heart, which is pretty badass, but it seems to be overheating. We did meet this tiefling here in the Emerald Grove, who apparently was also working uh, on behest of the devils, not of his own choice. So he may have some experience, perhaps, and can help us. Thought I sensed an inferno around here, but you aren't from Elderell. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the house. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zarion. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zarion. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Ew. The thought of someone's eyes melting shut is not ideal. Really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help, but I'd need infernal iron and a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to him? Absolutely. Let's see what he can do. Please, let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. 
I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of aid. Do I want to know how she installed something into her makeshift heart? <laughs> burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less changeable. That's good. Cheers, mate. <laughs> and as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt. I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Noted. All right. Well, I'm happy that we could help out Karlak. She's less fiery now. Let's see what she has to say. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. Oh, well, that's good, I guess. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Love that for you. <laughs> we'll find more infernal iron and get you that second upgrade too. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Will you be all right? Oh fuck yes! I'm ready to burn all night. Okay then. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Is it almost time for dinner? <laughs> Girl likes a full-time job. But happy we could help her. I gotta be honest, I have no idea where I found that first bit of infernal metal. We had one bit and that allowed Karlak to get her first upgrade, but we're gonna have to keep an eye out for more if we want to turn down her temperature. At least for now, we got a good start and now we can head back out onto the road. If you remember, our ultimate objective is to ultimately head east and try to find the goblin camp which is where we can get some answers on this whole cult of the Absolute, and perhaps more importantly, find Halson the Druid, who may be able to help us out with our little tadpole problem. On the road again. On the road again. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop singing now. Apologies to your ears. Um, I misspoke earlier, by the way, when I said we had to go east to find the goblin camp. We actually need to go west, the exact opposite, but anyway... We're moving. That's Ooh. Gladys is so good at spotting suspicious lumps of soil. Talk about a real talent. <laughs> nice. Scroll of Misty Step and ex Expeditious Retreat. As well as four bucks. Four bucks is four bucks. Now, is this the goblin camp? I think it might be. I think we found it. Because they mentioned... They being the tieflings who adventured out here. They mentioned that they had set up camp in some old ruins. And that's looking like it's fitting the bill. So I think we may have found it. The question is going to be, how are we going to get in? We did get into the Blighted Village by just talking our way through. Perhaps we'll have luck here doing the same thing. Looks like they lit everything on fire. Oh yeah, there are the goblins right there, straight ahead. Uh, maybe we'll try another entrance. <laughs> Oi, oh, thick out. nope. This is off limits. Get to the main gate, or I'll plug you full of arrows. How did he even see me? He didn't have any eye holes. <laughs> it's low key impressive. All right, let's just go to the front gate and see if I can. A war drum. One of those can summon fighters far and wide. Oh, we definitely don't want them to hit that then. All right, Gladys. You ready to try your silver tongue tricks? Look it, Claw. Sappers here. I'm like the same size as you. Not I'm you though, Claw, but reason to be here. Fake sight. Okay, you can be nice. We just met. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Mm hmm It's the whole cult of the absolute thing. Let's see if we can deceive him. Your leader summoned me. We'll add a bonus. Yes! Look at Gladys. The silver tongue strikes again. You? Well, guess we're in with all sorts these days. If you're here to see Draw Ragslin, you'll want to let him and the lads know you're one of us. There's a party on. 
Celebrating a raid, we are. You'll need to wear our war colours. Oh. Nice to have this across the mug. Oh, to do it. Are you serious? You can't be serious. Go on. Don't skimp, neither. I am not covering myself in poop. No. Them's the rules. You follow them now, or you follow them dead. What'll it be? <sighs> what do we do, folks? Do we do what we have to do to get through here unharmed? I hate it. I hate it so much, but I think I'm gonna do it. I'd rather take poop in the face than have to fight this whole squad. Come on, Gladys. Take one for the team. Oh, that's so gross! You stupid idiot! Go on, mate. Enjoy the festivities. You earned it. Oh, that's disgusting. Sounds festive in there. I do enjoy a party. We're celebrating a raid. No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. Can I get myself a bit of water for my face? Uh, a raid on what? Rip the guts out of Wackeen's rest we did. Inns are good for gutting. Lads even captured some juke. Worth celebrating, that is. Uh, I'm looking for someone named Halson. Wouldn't happen to know him, would you? Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. The pits? He couldn't be somewhere pleasant sounding, could he? Better still be alive. Fingers crossed. Alright, I will guess I'll just take my poop face and leave. Oh my that. god. What is the, um, status I just picked up? War paint. I was trying to see if I could investigate what it is, but it's called war paint. Or hang on, I think if I press this button? Yeah. Decorated with warg dung. Doesn't actually do anything positive or negative. It just makes flies surround me and has literal poop on my face. But hey, we, now we can walk past these guys. Oh dear. Well... At least we got in, right? We'll take that. Oh! Good god, okay, this whole area is trapped. Let's go this way instead. <laughs> Get some more... goblins back here. And an old Norder arm clean off. So much for the flaming fish day. Really loving this uh, attack on Joaquin's rest. You saw a flaming fist? Where? You ain't here. We sacked Joaquin's rest and left it to burn. I heard and saw. Drow flinging magic. No snapping off heads. Ends nothing but a pile of ash by now. They're real proud of themselves. Yes. <laughs> Were there any survivors? Bunch of prisoners got towed to Moonrise. City snobs mostly. But the flaming fist, pile of smoking corpses. Do you happen to know the way to Moonrise? You ain't know the broken road? Meh. <laughs> I'll tell you real slow, like, so you don't miss it. North. Wow. That's very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Wasp. Whoa. Hear my voice. Obey my command. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, 
exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. Well, that's ominous and spooky. Um, is it that prism? Shadowheart, what is that thing and where did you get it? And what is it doing? You feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. Seems to have pushed away the scary voice, at least. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. Seriously? You're gonna expect me to not ask any questions? powerful as hell. Um, you've got some explaining to do first before we keep moving. What is that thing you have? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Why Baldur's Gate? What aren't you telling me? I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. For all it's worth. Let's continue. Okay, that wasn't many answers. Mm, not my usual quarry. Nor my usual ally. You have horns on your head, Will. You can't be judgy. I mean, I honestly don't care who you worship. Just tell me about that artifact. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the absolute itself. The three figures in the vision, the chosen, are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadow That's a real question. The position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. Do you still do not know what it even is? I mean, look, just keep that thing safe. It seems like we're probably going to need it. Trust me. I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. All right. Well, that just uh, posed more questions than it did answers, unfortunately. That's curious. But we did find a big dirt mound, so that's a positive. <laughs> Gladys has been doing a lot of digging today. Oh, rotten tomatoes and holy water. I'll leave the tomatoes and take the water. Mountain Pass. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. Warning, the area you are about to enter will be bitterly difficult for a party of your level. Okay. Guess we're not going that way. <laughs> Must need to turn inwards to get to the goblin camp. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. This looks right. I mean, I'm kind of happy that we smeared poop on our face, to be honest. Because imagine trying to attack this place straight up 
They are quite fortified in here. Oh no, not a fellow bard. What are you doing? Yep. Wait, was he the guy we met in the Emerald Grove? Who was telling tall tales? With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. The inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblin kind had reduced them to cowering Filfenny. Is Filfenny a word? Raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin. The true soul had led you galant. That was pretty good freestyle, dude. I reckon draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge. The way this one's carrying on. I think you're probably right. Uh, let's see if we can join in. For a soul's not been truer than the Ragslin named Drawer. Thank you. Carry it on, Pitting. Mm. And if you saw him kill Merlins, you'd have to yell, Hum! Fa! I heard Raglan cast shadows that are 20 leagues wide. Ooh, we just barely passed that. Mm. Why? Uh... He's a meatier creature than any I've spied! Oh, Boulder Dash. <laughs> Boy, stranger, you make him with my pigeon. He's talking stupid now. Sorry, I was just trying to have a little rap battle. Let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess she didn't like my rhymes. Not my fault he's a bad bird. Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now look what you've done. I was just trying to help. It's not my fault you dropped the ball. Of course, man. Well, we might have to try to help him. I feel like as a fellow bard, I have the duty to... Whoa! Perhaps help this poor dude. Oh, wait a minute! What's happening over here? It's an owl bear cub! Well, now, you look like a toughen. But have you got smarts, skills, guts? All that and more. And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This... This is chicken chasing. What? Oh! <laughs> chicken chasing? What? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. That owl bear cub is so cute. Chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. There's a lot of ways for me to lose. It ain't. Better contenders than you have been bristed by the bird. You know that's an owl bear though, right? It's got feathers, don't it? A beak. Besides, I reckon it owes us seeing as I just ate our last chicken. Now you want to play, or is there a better chicken in you and all? I wonder if this is the owl bear cub that we saw earlier. I mean, uh, okay. I've I never say no to a good game. I guess and maybe if I win, I can get an owl bear cub for myself. <sighs> Fancy yourself, do you? Care to pin that claim down with some coin? Is that required? I have no desire to gamble. Then you don't want to play. This game ain't for rattle guts that don't believe in their selves. Oh, okay, fine. Here's my bet. We got the coin. We got the challenger. 
Now we just need the crowd, hey? We're starting a new game! Move your eyes! <sighs> All this meat? Okay, well maybe we'll get a snack after we're done this race. So I just have to chase the owl bear? I don't get it. Hurt me. Run. Where? I'm not gonna hurt you. See those posts? Run towards them. Let's try to get you out of here, little buddy. Safe. There. Run. Yep. You run. I'll follow you. Yay! I won! Oh my god, they had fireworks! Come here. That was fancy. Good job, little buddy. Mother gone. Oh! Hungry. His mom did die! You know, I have a camp. You're welcome there. New home? Maybe. Yes! Got to get away from here first. Right, the okay. The seems anxious to leave, but afraid to defy the goblins. They have to be dealt with one way or the other. Gotcha. I'll see what I can do, little buddy. Come here. Oops. Well, look here. That thing works even better in a chicken. Reckon we won't eat it after all. That's good. Look. Hand over my winnings. Pardon? You're what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cause only a goblin can win chicken chase. Says so in the rules. Wow, that's just rude. Power courses through you. Authority. We're having fun. Why ruin it now? Ooh, I didn't think I was gonna get that. No need to get weepy over it, like. Yeah. Golden tongued Glad Gladys strikes again. All right, so we can't take the owl bear home with us right now. We got to deal with the goblins somehow first, but we'll figure it out. At least we got a few winnings. We made sure that they're not going to eat the owl bear because he's all how useful he is. Now let's see if we can go about having a snack. Enjoying the view. Looking tasty. In these new breaches, ain't I? Oh, um, y they're quite fetching on you. Proper stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. Oh dear, the good smell is a dwarf. Uh, the dwarf, did he have anything on him, you know, besides pants? Dunno. Was already stripped down to his breeches when I got my hands on him. Had a couple of coins in the pockets and some. Daft poem. But that's all. I love poetry. Could I see? Sure you can. But a look's all you're getting. Mm, for all I know, this little roast was some famous bard. And you'll be sending his last words for a pretty penny. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. So it looks like we can make these goblins do whatever we want. Before we actually use tadpole powers, though, I'd like to rely on my own powers first. My powers of bardic deception. I'll say I think I know him. That's Pilchard the Warbler, the worst bard in Faerun. So bad, in fact, you can just give me his stuff without worry. Really? Bog roll then. <laughs> I'll get back to tending the meat. Thanks, Klaga. Inventory item received. Dwarf's poem. Let's see what it is. Read. A son of Salune fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. A note is scrawled in the margins. Found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? A cluster of stars and lunar phases are sketched beneath. Well, if you follow this poem, I guess it tells you the answer. Okay. 
That should help us to find this treasure that's apparently underneath this temple, the Night Song. Meat ain't ready yet. Dwarves take an age to roast. Oh, how unfortunate. Uh, where did you find a dwarf anyway? He found us. Don't know what he was doing here or where he came from. Lads inside are trying to get answers out of one of his mates. <sighs> that might be Halson. Was one of his mates a druid? Nah, druids are all beardy and woodsy, ain't they? This lot were a scabby gang of tomb robbers. Had a big old war bear with them, though. Took five of our meanest lashes to chain it up. We'll the war bear could be the druid. And make it one of our own. <laughs> Okay. Enjoy poking holes in people, do ya? What? He's inside. Keep to the right and follow the screams. <laughs> okay. Love some directions. Thanks, Gricka. Man, these goblins are just so helpful. Oh, wow. This is a big guy. I ain't paid to talk. Keep walking. Will do. Tell him a story here. Oh, are they talking about that dead body right there? Dead adventurer, yeah. He must have been part of that adventuring party from the Emerald Grove. Dude's telling a very dramatic retelling. See if we can ask any follow-up questions. Fresh disarmament bare hands. We couldn't pick this humans. Oh, you got him good. And what are you doing here with that stink on your face? Think you could do whatever you want? I was told the stink on my face would allow me to do whatever I want. Also, are you making a height joke? We're the same height, bro. Um, let's try using the tadpole. You know, I'm your superior. You should show some respect. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. F forgive me. I had no idea. The other two soldiers are inside. They're planning and such. Excellent. Finally got Grandma some respect from these whippersnappers. Where did they put the uh, the bird? Did they bring him inside? Oh wait, there's humans here. Bottoms up, hey! These little lads snagged some pretty decent drink. That is quite the hairstyle, Andrick. <laughs> The bald runway down the middle. My goodness. Okay. To each their own, I suppose. Yeah, look, another human. Brianna. No, not you. For wandering right into the middle of a goblin war clan. I suppose that goes to demonstrate just how desperate we are. We're not mad. We're just adventurous, creative. Um. Okay, we'll talk later. I want to talk to the humans in this camp first. Brianna. It's good to be among allies, isn't it? The Absolute's blessings have brought so many together. Oh, they're followers of the Absolute, too. Okay. Looks like here we might have a merchant. Hello? What more you look like you got something jingling in your pocket? This guy has Looking luscious hair. Grat! Oh my goodness. Beautiful. You should give some to that human back there. He could use it. <laughs> Quite the trove you got here. How'd you get your hands on all this? Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? Okay. Well, let me see what you have. Oh, he's got some pretty good stuff. All right, let's take a look. All right. We got a few upgrades for the gang. And I guess there's nothing else for us to do at this point than to go inside the camp proper. I can only imagine what's awaiting us in there. Um, today has been, yet again, another action-packed episode, and we say goodbye today while Gladys has poop smeared all over her face. But, you know, sometimes that's just the way she blows. 
<laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you s to see you guys back here again soon for another episode of Baldur's Gate 3.